fluoroquinolones are an increasingly used bactericidal broad-spectrum antibiotics. Today we're going to learn all about them. Fluoroquinolones are effective in a wide variety of infectious diseases, including skin, respiratory infections, and urinary tract infections. Because of their excellent safety and tolerability, fluoroquinolones have become a popular alternative to penicillins and cephalosporins in the treatment of various infections. Fluoroquinolones have a broad spectrum of antimicrobial activity, including gram-positive streptococci, atypical pathogens, and anaerobes. Examples of fluoroquinolones include ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin, and ofloxacin. You can recognize any fluoroquinolone through noticing that they all end with the word fluxicin. How does it work? Fluoroquinolones work by blocking bacterial DNA synthesis by inhibiting topoisomerase 2, which is also known as DNA gyrase, and inhibiting topoisomerase 4. Inhibition of DNA gyrase prevents the relaxation of positively supercoiled DNA, which is crucial for the transcription and replication process of DNA. However, the inhibition of topoisomerase 4 interferes with the separation of replicated chromosomal DNA into their respective daughter cells during cell division. Hence, hindering the bacterial cell replication process while leaving the DNA strand cleaved, which leads to the death of the bacterial cell. There are many known side effects of fluoroquinolones, the most common of which fluoroquinolones tend to form complexation with metallic ions like iron, aluminum, magnesium and calcium. Fluoroquinolones are known to cause phototoxicity. Also, they are a potent inhibitor of enzyme cytochrome P450, which can lead to a lot of drug-drug interactions. They cause CNS toxicity by binding to GABA receptors. Gastrointestinal discomfort and cartilage and musculoskeletal toxicity. Pharmacokinetics Fluoroquinolones are well absorbed with a high bioavailability when given orally. However, the absorption might be hindered by the presence of divalent metals like magnesium and aluminum which are present in antacids. Fluoroquinolones are distributed widely in the body fluids and pass through the tissues including placenta reaching the fetus. It is eliminated largely through the kidneys. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and for any questions or suggestions for future topics, feel free to mention it in the comment section below.